mother. Is she helpful? She was the opposite of helpful, sir. Could you pay her a visit? She might have more on him. Sure. Uh, You, oh, yeah, it's been crazy today. Well, you want to go for coffee now? Uh, no, I, I can't. Sorry. What's going on? Don't. Sam. Is there something wrong with a baby? I'm miscarrying. So sorry. Didn't know what I wanted until this happened. Let me take you home. There's no point. Sam, I really don't mean It's not going to make any difference. Let's go and talk to Kenzie's mum. Who says our job isn't glamorous? Oh. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! VW car keys. <laughs> Mom, it's Leela. We found the keys. We'll meet you down there. Yeah. We need to check if these are the keys to Kenzie's car, head down to Stearman Road, and see if one of these opens the lock to Janet's room. You can never get through to that prison. I need to tell Simon about his mum. I don't know why you're bothering. I hardly know Kenzie these days. When did you last see him? I've seen him for a month or so. And where did you see him? Here. Yeah. Probably avoiding me. He owes me. He owes you? Money. He busted me microwave. How did he do that? I don't know. Probably used a metal dish knowing him. So he popped round for dinner then? I don't know. <sighs> Look, he came barging in and told me to get out. I didn't ask. I don't want to know. I went round to me mate Carol's, came back an hour later to find me a microwave knackered. End of story. You chucked it? Yeah. Put it in the shed with all the rest of the junk. Watch it, you're not at a boot sale. Here it is. Right, has anybody touched it since you put it in here? No. It's crack. Get out. Don't try pinning any of that stuff on Kenzie. We'll get a crime scene examiner to lift the prints. He could be sent away for analysis. That way we'll know for sure. Well, you two again. Where were you at around 10 o'clock this morning? Now, let me see. Do not mess me about. Have you seen Joe Preston since we last saw you? Yes, love. Where? Is he always like this? Do you know, I can't quite remember. I see Joe paid up then. Yeah. How'd you manage that? I asked him nicely. Hang on. Whose blood's that? Mine. Out for Lovelace, I'm arresting your suspicion of assaulting Joe Preston. You what? Here, that's mine. Get your thieving hands off. Yeah, look, we need to send them away to make sure that this blood's Joe's or not. It's my blood. Ow! Well, help me then. Oh! Oh! Dear. It could be worse. Oh, when did you last change then? I told you it was my blood. Oh, I thought mine were bad. <sighs> oh, dear. We're going to have to get those looked at. I think the sock's growing into the foot. Find the me to come down here and look at it. <sighs> well, they're definitely Kenzie's mum. Car key fitted his golf. Well, uh, well, we can get him all forced imprisonment if nothing else. Then come on, let's get out of here. Come on, move. To be honest, Alfie, the evidence is mounting up against her. You've got nothing. So the CCTV footage of you going down the alley on Bud Road where Joe was later found beaten up, that's nothing, is it? Well, the threat you made to Joe in front of me and Sergeant Smith earlier on? I thought you was on my side. You were trying to nick Joe's shoes. And now here you are, wearing a brand new pair. Where'd you get the money? I have ways and means. Meaning? Meaning beating Joe up and taking his money. Meaning no. Did you see Joe in the Bud Road area? Yeah, but I can't take credit for his hiding. Uh, as much as I'd love to. Do you know who did it? 
No. But you think you know. But if you don't tell us, you're still our number one suspect. Look, say somebody asked me where Joe was and I told them, would, it, would that make, make me an accessory or something? Not if you didn't suspect that they were going to hurt him. Look, I don't know his name or nothing, but a young man in a black suit asked me where Joe was and he gave me 30 quid for the information. We've got Kenzie. Prince on the microwave or a match? Yes, we've got him for production of drugs. And um, for forced imprisonment of his grandmother. We've got his keys. Good work. You all right? Yeah, I've, um, I've got a bit of indigestion. I'm going to enjoy wiping that smile off his face. You're seeing the interview through? I want to be as involved as possible on this one. That'll be all. Uh, see you in the pub. In the shift. You need to go on. It's just cramps. It's normal. Working when you're miscarrying isn't normal. Can't find you and go home. No. I'll be fine on my own. Well, let me tell you. I want to be alone. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Sorry to bother you again. You said you wouldn't. Is that your mum? I don't want to waste your time, so I'll get straight to the point. Someone said a man matching your description gave him money in return for pointing him in the direction of Joe Preston, the victim of the attack. Well, that could be anyone, couldn't it? Black suit, black tie. So you're going to believe the words of some old man and come down here and accuse me? We didn't say he was an old man. Andrew, I know this must be a hard day for this to be happening, but if you had anything to do with the attack, it's much better for you if you tell us. I'm not normally a violent man. And I can see that. Joe's my dad. I tracked him down about four days ago. Tell him about Mum. He was drunk as usual, burst into tears, drunk tears, didn't mean a thing. He hadn't seen her for uh, nearly eight years. I told him about the funeral. I didn't want him there, but Mum did. Did he cause a scene at the funeral? He wasn't at the funeral. No, she was kind enough to want him there, to let bygones be bygones, and he couldn't even be bothered to turn up. I know I should be sorry for what I'd done, but... I'm not. So, I suppose you've come to arrest me now. No. Because I don't think your dad's going to want to press charges. This probably isn't my place. And maybe he didn't go to the funeral because he felt too guilty. It wasn't about him or his feelings. It was for Mum. And she was willing to forgive him. I don't think she'd want you to. I mean, it could be why she invited him. She'd want me to be happy. Surely you can make peace with him, for her sake? Look. He's in this ward in St Hughes. They're keeping him in for a couple of days for observation. 